Hey what's up guys welcome to cubic soul youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create this type of dashboard inside your android app so you will learn the art of creating user interface in android studio so video is going to be more important and before start please i request you to subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos let's start so first of all here you can see i have created a simple android studio project and you have to convert your root level layout to relative layout next you have to type here view width match parent height 250 dp and put forward slash and next we have to design the background for our view so right click on drivable select new click on drivable resource file and name this background underscore view press ok button next click on shape and here type corners bottom left radius to 75 dp and type bottom right radius to 75 dp put forward slash and next you have to type here solid android colon color and choose color underscore 700 you can use your custom color here to define a custom color you need to open color.xml the color.xml actually exists exist in app resource and values and open color.xml here i am using this color if you want to change another color you just have to declare a color here and you can use that color inside your android app so friends i will type here at the rate of color purple underscore 700 put forward slash at the end next open main activity and type here android colon background at the rate of drivable background underscore view you can see that it is giving me this suggestion select this one next type here grid layout width match parent height match parent and before this give an id to this view like view and give an id to your grid layout i'm going to give grid underscore layout put angle bracket and uh, give layout below at the rate of id view it will put our grid layout to the below of our view and now give margin to minus 80 dp next friends we have to type here android colon row count so i'm going to type here three and column count these two lines will define that how much rows will your grid layout have in my case i will have three rows and two columns next we have to create a constraint layout here sorry not constraint layout but a card view give width wrap content height wrap content close this card view by using angle bracket next you have to type here card elevation 12 dp and card corner radius to 15 dp the card corner radius will rounded the shape of your card and the card elevation property will give shadow to your card view and next inside our card view i have to type linear layout width match parent height match parent put angle bracket and define an orientation for this linear layout so i'm going to select vertical and inside this i have to put image view width 80 dp height 80 dp android colon source is equal to at the rate of drivable ic home friends you can download these icons from internet or you can choose these icons from android library i'm going to teach you the method how you can select the icons from android library so just right click on drivable select new and click on vector asset click on this clip art you will see the android library here you can see all the icons that are available inside your android library suppose i want to choose this icon i will select signal wi-fi and press ok button and it is giving me a long name but you can shorten this name by suppose i want to name this icon under ic underscore wi-fi that's it you can change its name i mean rename your icon and press next and press finish button now next step is i want to change the color of my this icon so just open ic underscore wi-fi and here you can see a property android colon tint just convert this property to purple underscore 700 or whichever color you want to choose so friends i have teach you a method how you can select icon from android library here you can see inside my drivable folder i have already created some icons i uh, suppose ic underscore home logout phone search and these six icons you can create icons according to your desire and uh, if you want more elegant icons you can get those icons from flat icon website just go to google and search for flat icon this is the best website uh, from where you can get free icons as well as premium icons so friends again open activity underscore main and here give type here text view width wrap content height wrap content android colon text home center uh, not center but you have to type here layout gravity center 
horizontal and give layout gravity to your image view exactly center that's it next type here and dot colon color choose a black color for your text view text style would be bold text size would be of 18 sp and here i have to give a property layout weight layout column weight would be one and layout row weight would be one inside your linear layout press enter at and type here and dot colon gravity and give value center to exactly center your icon and your text view next click on your grid layout and type here layout underscore margin i means android colon layout underscore margin and give margin 24 dp to your grid layout that's it next you have to type here inside your card view layout row zero layout column zero actually this is the position of our this card view next just you have to copy your this card view paste it here and change this column value from zero to one uh, you have to put forward slash at your text view because it is giving me an error just put forward slash again i will copy this card view paste this again and now this time i have, I have to convert this row value to one because this is, it will be a next row and this column value to zero paste it again and change this row value to one and this column value to one as well and lastly again paste this fifth card view and change this row value to two and your column value to zero and finally we have to paste our sixth card view and give layout underscore row value to two and its column value would be one so friends i have just uh, put my these icons here these beautiful card views next you have to add one more property layout underscore margin to your each card view so i will type here layout margin like 12 dp i will copy this property and paste this to my each card view you can see that my these icons are looking more beautiful now these card views are also looking more beautiful okay friends at last i will remove this layout below property and i have to change all these icons and these titles i see settings and settings So friends I have changed all my icons and the title below these icons and now I will run my app to my emulator so you can see the output. So friends you can see the output have been appeared to my android emulator and friends I hope you must enjoy this video and if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask me in the comment section I will try to answer your question. And please subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos. And finally thanks for watching.